I know that I'm gone They see me blowing up, now they say they want some Yo, what is up guys? It is Furious X here. I'm um, bringing us back with another video. Um, I'm sorry about the lack of uploads. I've just been really busy enjoying my summer. Hopefully you guys have been as well. But I'm gonna start, you know, in the grind again. I'm gonna start um, making more YouTube videos often, hopefully, um, with my schedule with school and all that. I mean, I have school in what, two, three weeks? But I'm, you know, between those two, three weeks, I'm gonna start uploading more. I'm gonna, try, I'm gonna be trying, I'm, <laughs> Blah blah. I'm gonna try um, to do my best and uploading more. Um, but in this video, we're pretty much gonna. I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make a FX server. Um, pretty much is really simple. Uh, but I'm just gonna be making this video so you guys can follow along. If I'm going too fast, I apologize. Just pause the video. And if you guys have any questions or if you guys are having any issues, just comment them down below, and I will try to get back to you. Also, I have a support Discord that I'm working on. The link for my Discord should be in the description, so make sure you guys join that as well. But um, all the links for downloads are going to be in the description. So the first link um, I'm gonna have posted is this. It's just the you know basic five minute doc documentation that we're gonna be going off. So first, second link is going to be the artifact servers. Uh, just do this security check, and pretty much you guys are going to be doing the latest one. As of this video, it is July twenty fourth. You guys may watch. You guys may be watching this video two months down the road, a year or two, but you guys are always going to be downloading the latest version, which is this one. You guys are going to be clicking on this. Click server zip, server zip, and just let it download. In the meanwhile, you guys are gonna want to go anywhere in your computer. I recommend doing it on your actual, you know, local disk, um, like the main page, just to make things easier. This is one of my 5M servers that I have been working on, um, but we're not gonna be doing that one. You guys are just gonna make a new folder and just name it FX Server, just for this demonstration of the video. Obviously, you guys can name it anything you guys want, but. I recommend naming it FX server. You guys are gonna you guys are gonna open this server, dot zip, and make sure you guys have Winner installed. And you guys, all you guys have to do is just pretty much drag and drop. So, Control A, and just drag that into there, and let it copy. Okay, you guys will need this Git nor so you guys can delete that. All right, next um, link. You guys are gonna download the CFX uh, server uh, data master. Download zip. Exit out of that as well. And same thing, drag and drop. And you guys are gonna open it. Delete this git nor as well. You guys will need that. And resources. These are like the main resources. Not delete none of these. These are the main resources you need uh, it, to run any 5M server actually. And obviously, uh, uh, you guys could add more strips of your liking as well. For example, V menu, Lambda, or if, the, if you're gonna be going for an economy based server, it's the same setup. So FX server, they're required for ESX or Five, and no matter what, you you would need you know the parent directory, the main files. Now you're gonna go in the uh, CFX server, the data master. You're gonna make a new text document, name it server, and the last three letters are gonna be CFG click yes and you guys are going to go over here you guys are going to copy this as well so let me show you guys what I did it's going to be the fifth line it's going to say copy the example server that's CFG below click on that and just copy all of this all the way down click control C and you guys are going to edit this with notepad plus plus or whatever uh, software you guys like using control V and save it so this is pretty much where you're going to be uh, putting your server information, your logos, um, and the name. So, but we're gonna be giving it a name. We're just gonna be naming it Furious Furious Playground. There we go. Oops, wrong button. All right. Next step is to get your guys's uh, server license key. So this is gonna be another link in the description. Just look for Keymaster 5 mnet in the .net in the description. Click copy. And just paste that into your address bar. You guys are gonna sign in. So let me sign in real quick. Sign in with Google. Oh, 
or if you guys don't have an account, you guys could just register one. It's free. Uh, now you guys should have um, a screen like this. You guys are gonna click register and label. You guys can name it whatever you guys want. I'm just gonna be naming it Furious's Playground, just so I don't forget. Obviously, if, if I were you guys I'll, for label, I'll put your um, server's name, server IP. Um, if you guys are using a box, you guys will put the IP for the box. If not, you guys are going to be using, I'm going to be home hosting it. So I'm going to be putting in my own private um, IP. So let me do that real quick. You guys could, you know, um, you guys could locate your IP by just type in what is my IP. It's going to be your IP for uh, V4 address, not the long one. It's going to be a short one. I'm just going to paste that in there. I'm not a robot click generate and this is what you guys uh, are gonna want the key right here where it says key the um the guys that the one they got made just control C go back into here and just space control V and there you go that's your key so your um, server will will authenticate with 5m okay we're gonna open this folder okay you guys are gonna go into the main directory you guys can click new text document and just name it starter dot bat it's gonna be a bat file click yes right click edit and you guys are gonna want to copy the following you guys are gonna be copying this this is gonna be in the description as well um, this is important. Where it says 5M server, you guys are going to be re renaming that to whatever the uh, whatever this is called. So this is called FX server. You guys might uh, name it differently. Just make sure to name it exactly like that. And same thing with both. And another thing right here, uh, F. Um, since I am using uh, my drive that's not that, that's named F, just make sure to change it. If you guys are using either C or D, whatever any other letter, just make make sure to change it. And click file save. Now, if you go over here to starter.bat, let me put this over here. It should load up your server. Just let it authenticate. It might take a while. There we go. So it's loading everything. Uh, it might ask for this one security alert. Just click allow access. This server does not have a license key specified. Please set the SV license key. Okay, so that might pop up. If that pops up, just make sure you guys um, posted the key in here correctly. Probably I didn't save. I did save. Hmm. Oh, I didn't delete the change me. Huh, dummy. It's just space. Just make sure to change the change me and just SV underscore license key, space, and then the long key. Right, okay, you guys are going to go back. Same thing, just start to start it up bat to my other monitor. There we go. Let me drag it over here. And server thread hitch warning authenticated with nucleus. Okay. Well, that, they're doing it differently now. Nucleus, and I, had, I never heard of that. Cause back, cause the last time I made a five M server was what two, three months ago, and they did a different thing. But let me load up five M, and if we local host it, you guys should be in your guys' server. And another thing, um, this might answer some of your guys' questions. Um, in the server CFG, if you guys have multiple servers and with different ports, this um, you guys won't be just keep these zeros. All you have to do is just change the port, right? For example, um, your main server is 30120, and let's say that your development server or your whitelisted server is 30130 uh, or 40. I would just go up one. That's if you have multiple servers. If you don't, just one, just keep it 30120. All right, uh, let me switch screens right here, my OBS. Display capture. Um, Okay, you guys should be able to see my uh, 5M now. Just in, go over here at settings. Make sure this is enabled. Enable the localhost menu item. Click localhost. Handshaking with server. Downloading content. And it's going to download the things that 
you know you guys downloaded from the web and obviously if you guys had more resources it's gonna download more you guys got loading screens the menu cars scripts etc I'm not gonna be going in detail with that um, in this video if you guys want to see more tutorials just let me know in the comments below and I will be more than happy to make those videos for you guys I like teaching people how to do stuff and another thing that's cool um, it's called discord presence or rich presence so whenever someone places uh, plays your guys' server, um, you know, in Discord it says playing blah 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 certain game, for example, playing Call of Duty Black Ops 4. Uh, I know how to uh, make it, um, you know, instead of saying 5M, it's going to say your server name. So it's going to say an, an example, playing your server name. For example, playing um, Oceanside Roleplay. That's an example. That's one of my uh, 5M servers. Playing Oceanside Roleplay is going to show you your guys' logo, etc. And here we go. This is a 5M server. That's how you make a 5M server. It's really easy. And if you guys have any, any questions, just let me know down in the comment section. Hopefully this video helped you guys out. If it didn't, just drop a comment or join my support Discord, um, support Discord slash hangout. And yeah, obviously we can't really do nothing because you know there's really not, not not that many scripts in here. And if you guys want to add a menu, obviously there's V menu, Lambda, um, you know those two big ones. I recommend V menu. But yeah, if you guys want to, if you guys want me to go uh, make more videos in depth, how to add scripts to five minutes, just let me know. And yeah, um, my name is Furious X. If you guys have any questions, once again, just let me know, and I'm sending you guys off with this. See you guys in the next time. Thank you for watching. Make sure to like.